y'all and welcome to today's video. I have here with me the new Blend Bunny Cosmetics Forget Me Not Eye and Face Palette. We're gonna play with this today. I have the new brushes. I thought it'd be fun. We will try this palette on the eyes. We'll try it on the face. We'll see what's good with this neutral palette. I'm excited. We'll swatch it. We'll play. Let's jump into it. <music> Let's quickly talk about this Blend Bunny Forgive Me Not Versatile Eye and Face Palette. This palette, along with this five-piece brush set, are launching on Friday the 18th at 10 a.m. Pacific. I will put all the launch details, everything, down in the description box, and I dig into this palette. Now I do have an affiliate code with Blend Bunny. It is Heather. If you ever want to save on their site, you can use that code. I will put that in the description box along with the link. But this palette is different for Blend Bunny. So you see we have the kind of larger size, but it opens up more like a book. So it opens this way. We have large pans, which is new. It's something new from Blend Bunny. We have mostly matte shades with four of these like metallic shimmer shades that are supposed to be able to be used on the face as well. It's supposed to be like a different formula so that it's more metallic for the cheeks, not sparkle heavy like their Noctilucent highlighter pal palette and the brushes. So I have some brushes from Blend Bunny. I, so this collection right here was gifted to me from the brand. Of course, I'm gonna tell you what I think of the palette no matter what, but I have bought Blend Bunny brushes before. I bought this brush from their blush collection. I bought their eye brushes. I like the Blend Bunny brushes, so I'm excited to use these today. Let me quickly show you a close-up of this palette and let me show you swatches. I know that swatches don't tell the whole story, but they can definitely be fun to do. See the palette kind of all swatched out. I am really familiar with Blend Bunny. I own everything from the brand. I have bought their first few palettes. I have bought some of their lip products. I'm wearing the lip product today, actually. I'm wearing the, uh, what is this? Doll Face Lip Liner and Lipstick. So I really like Blend Bunny. I feel like I know the formula as well. So I'm definitely intrigued to see how the formulas in this palette will be, especially since it's not just eyeshadows. It's not just face palette powders. It's supposed to be like, versatile for eyes and face and I'm kind of nervous if the eyeshadows are going to be super pigmented like are they going to be too pigmented for the face or are they going to be more sheer than I'm used to from Blend Bunny because they're supposed to work on the face I don't know I'm intrigued we're going to create a look we're going to play I'm going to zoom y'all in because what I think we will do first is try this on as a bronzer because that's what I'm kind of most curious about or nervous about is using these on the face so yeah let me zoom you in a bit let me figure out what I'm going to do to create a bronzer for me and we'll try it on the face Okay, so I've zoomed y'all in a little bit and let me tell you what I have on my skin so you know, starting out with what I have on. I am wearing my Fenty um, Ease Drop Blur Smooth Tint. I tried this in a testing new makeup earlier this week. I'm wearing it again, really enjoying it. I am wearing, well, the bronzer is not gonna go where my concealer is, but I'm wearing my Natasha Denona concealer. And then I set my face down with my Lunar Beauty Luniversal Setting Powder in Translucent Medium. I didn't add any finishing powder, nothing like that, because I didn't want to interfere with testing this on the face. So that's what I have on my skin. Oh, I'm so sorry I didn't put my phone on silent. Rude of me. But let me show you. So my, I would say like my favorite bronzer right now is this one from Fenty Beauty. This is in Caramel Cutie. So my skin undertone is olive. I'm kind of warm leaning. So I like this type of bronzer shade and I don't usually contour. I don't love a contour on myself. So when looking at this palette, I do 
think there's more tones for contour than bronzing because these are like cooler in tone for sure but we're gonna try to mix some shades i'm thinking maybe i'll maybe i'll mix this with i don't know i really feel like this is more for like cooler tones and i definitely don't love cooler tone products on my skin but I'm, I'm gonna test it just to see how it blends even if it's not like the perfect shade for me it's fine we're gonna test it on the cheeks so i'm gonna mix this shade with something else we'll see but an anticipation will kind of be our starting point i'm gonna take this brush so these brushes are launching with the set this just says blend bunny cosmetics there's no number or anything like that on here that i can see I'm gonna pick that up I'm gonna push my hair back and we'll see how this looks on our skin okay so I'm gonna put this on I tried not to pick up too much of it but I'm just gonna like bounce it in and it's definitely not too pigmented which is good I was kind of worried like it would be pigmented like a shadow and not be able to blend. So I mixed anticipation with a little bit of all I need, which is like a more gray. And I'm just going to see how that looks. But then I think I'm going to go in with my regular bronzer just to get the, the shade that I like. So it does give a little definition to the face. I feel like you could definitely use this in a pinch if you didn't want to you know pull out anything else you just wanted this to be kind of an all-in-one I definitely think like it doesn't look bad on the cheeks not my personal preference in shade but it definitely like it can get the job done if you need it to so here we have I'm going to put on my normal bronzer though and I am going to prime my eyes for shadow, zoom y'all in more, and we are gonna create an eye look. Okay, this is a neutral palette, mostly mattes, but I'm gonna try to bring the drama <laughs> because that's what I like. So I'm going to, let's see. I know you already saw the swatches, but I have not swatched it yet. So, okay, we have a brown, a cooler tone brown and then it looks to be a black so I'm actually gonna go in with this more sh warm shade not really warm but warmer it's called unforgettable and I'm gonna pack this in my crease we're gonna start with this dark shade okay so I put down my Sigma ignite eye primer and I'm gonna pick up that shade unforgettable on one of my original blend bunny brushes and I'm going to dip back and forth like into the pan onto my eye and what I'm doing first is pressing it on I know it's gonna look not nice at first but I just really want control of this dark shade and I want it to be deep and dark and an intense eye look so I'm gonna put it like in the socket and then I'm also going to pack it down on my lid so I'm covering really from lash line up to above my socket with this dark shade and then once I have it on I will blend it a little bit but I'll bring in another shade to really buff it out with I just wanted to start with the intense shade first so that we could go bold and dramatic because that is what I like Okay, so I know this is looking a little wild, but we're going to go in, oh, sorry, I'm trying to show you, with this more cool tone brown right here on my lower lash line, and then I'm going to kind of buff and blend things out with this shade right up here, this shade called Room Service. So in the plan and Room Service are what we're going to go in with next, and I'm going to use an angled brush from this new... Uh, forget me not collection and I saw you know blend bunny on Instagram was talking about how this palette could really be perfect for like working makeup artists bridal looks things like that and I 
have said before, but maybe I knew. I have been married for 17 years now. And on my wedding day, I actually wore green eyeshadow. <laughs> I remember very clearly going shopping with my mom, gonna get some new makeup to test and try for my wedding. And I got a green duo. It had like this deeper like moss green and then it had a light green in it, like more of like a pastel lime type of color. And then I also got a pink and red duo and I loved them so much, but I wore the green one on my wedding day. But I also know <laughs> most people are not into colorful makeup in general and definitely not on their wedding day. I have done bridal makeup only three times and every time, well, I should say all three times, the looks that the brides wanted me to do could have been done with this palette. So I think calling it a wedding palette or saying like it's perfect for that type of makeup is very accurate <laughs> just because uh, of like my experience and then of course just seeing like overall what people like to do for their makeup is usually light neutral colors, maybe a little bit of a smoky eye. So I could definitely see this palette being good for that. I'm gonna now take the other brush or another brush from their set and I'm gonna go into that. I'm actually gonna mix room service and all I need and I'm going to slowly start to buff and blend and we're just gonna work this we're gonna be careful again these are more cool tone shades it's not like a warm palette when I go for neutrals my preference is usually warmer tones but I do think cool tones can be fun as well so I'm just gonna take my time and kind of buff and blend so I have a nice transition and then we're going to kind of deepen up the outer corner with that matte black shade so I'm just going to really take my time blending because I want this to be nice and blown out okay so here is how our blend is looking so far so good I'm not having any trouble with any of these shades so I want to go in and add a little bit of black to this outer corner. So I'm going to go into Say Yes, and I'm just going to stamp it right out here and then buff and blend just to give us even more contrast. So we're just pulling it out like this. Really pretty. Okay, now we're going to add in some of these shimmer shades. I think what we'll do is we'll play with this gold shade right here and then this more champagne shade here. So magical and cheers. And I'm going to pick it up on this flat brush from Blend Bunny. I'm gonna start with magical. I'm gonna spray my brush and I'm gonna kind of pack it right in here on top of my mat. All right, I'm going to just kind of press this on top of the matte shade like this i'm not going to bring it all the way to the outer corner i'm going to leave that nice and matte oh that's pretty okay different different type of look for me y'all look we're doing all neutrals <laughs> y'all know i love neutrals and color so i will definitely say when it comes to neutral palettes and stuff I gravitate towards them when they're from brands that I know and love because I feel like I already know like the brand, I already know the formulas. So when they put out a neutral palette, I'm much more likely to be interested than from brands that I have never tried or maybe from some more mainstream brands. I definitely like 
when I have a neutral palette to have some different formulas in there. I like light to dark. I like options. So I do think this look is coming together really nicely, but I want to highlight that inner corner. So now I'll go into the shade Cheers and we'll pop that on right there. I'm not going to spray this shade like I did my lid shade and I'm just going to pop it right there. I am going to throw on a lash and some liner and I'll be back, but this is going to be our completed eye look. All right, y'all, I threw on some eyeliner and some unearthly heavenly lashes to finish off my eye look. I put on my Blend Bunny lip oil and baby girl and the Bare Cheeks blush palette for a little bit of blush. Now let's use um, a highlighter in here. Let's let's use this for our face highlighter since this is a different type of formula that's supposed to work on the eyes and cheeks well because Noctilucent, the highlighter palette from Blend Bunny, so beautiful. It is one of the most like sparkly, sparkle heavy, colorful highlighter palettes I have, but I love, I love to sparkle. I love colorful highlighter. So we definitely have some more like toned down highlighters in this palette. I'm going to use Butterflies, the more pinky champagne color. We also have a pretty big mirror in this one. So I'm going to highlight my cheeks with this shade right here. That is pretty. Yeah, I'm going to build it up just a little bit to get a more intense glow. But y'all saw with just that little bit, you can get that lit from within glow. But I want to, I want to be like seen from the skies, you know, I want this highlight to be there. So that is really, really beautiful on the face. Yeah, that's super pretty. I definitely think like if you have a cooler undertone and you like cool shades, things like that for the face, this is going to be super versatile for you because I definitely felt like when I put some on my cheeks that the shades blended well. And I think also like if you have that cool or neutral undertone to your skin you can use this i saw um blend bunny was showing on instagram this being used like under the eyes as like a pink setting powder doesn't work for my olive warm leaning skin but uh i did see these two powders being used so you could definitely try that out but i think this is looking really cute now if you're looking for a palette from blend bunny with like all neutrals, some cool tones. I think this performed beautifully. A versatile like eye and face palette, just like it says. If you're looking for neutrals, but maybe not just neutrals, I would recommend the All Done Up palette. It has like some olives and some yellows. And I know their Dollhouse palette also has some more kind of muted tones, some neutral leaning shades, but I believe this is Blend Bunny's first ever like all neutral palette. And I do think this is a smart release. I think it is versatile. It definitely is. I want to pair this palette though with some of my sparkly shades. Like maybe I could pull this in with my Trove quad from Blend Bunny with the beautiful colorful multi-chromes. I would like to pair that with these neutrals. Maybe we will do that in the future. I think the formulas in here are really nice. I think this is a great addition to Blend Bunny's line. I think it kind of it, it, it brings like even more versatility to the brand because if you wanted to try highlighters from Blend Bunny, but you don't want something super sparkly, you're not like trying to live out some Lisa Frank fantasy in your day to day life the way I am with like a blue sparkly highlighter, then you could try this for Blend Bunny's highlighters and you could have some beautiful lit from within glowy highlighters from Blend Bunny, one of my favorite brands. I love Blend Bunny. I just think they kill it every time. So this is a smart release from the brand. Like I said, for me, I'm going to mix this in with some of my more 
colorful uh, palettes. I'm definitely going to use it more as a companion palette, which I also think it's going to work super well for. It can be an all-in-one for some. It can be a companion palette for others. I am super excited. I got to try this out. I will say, uh, oh, also the brushes, very nice. Like, I expect them to be nice because Blend Bunny always puts out nice brushes. But what I was going to say and what I will still say is had Blend Bunny not sent me this collection, I would have purchased it myself. So I am super excited that I got to try this collection out before it launched so I could give you my kind of thoughts and opinions on it, share with you my swatches and a look to help you make a decision if you were considering this one. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you like this neutral eye look and I hope you're having a great great day. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future content and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye! Thank you.